Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking all things fashion because I'm going to be sharing with you four principles of a fire outfit. Okay, so principle number one, stick to one wow item per outfit. Now, you may be thinking, what's a wow item? Well, basically, if we were to put it in a different sense, a wow item is a piece of clothing that is overstated, that's shouting, that's making a statement. If you have a top, for example, that's a wow top, make sure your bottoms are a bit more muted. You only want one piece of your outfit to be shouting. Let the others talk in a faint whisper. That's a really good way of having a statement piece and not overpowering it with other statement pieces at the same time. Principle number two is similar to principle number one, except it's more about showing skin. Now, this is a positive channel. We do not body shame. We do not slut shame on this channel. So I first want to caveat this by saying, do what you feel comfortable with. But for me, what I find works is that if I'm showing a lot of arm, I probably won't show a lot of leg at the same time. Again, this just fits in with the wow item idea. Now, you may have a part of your body that you particularly like, and so you might tend to go for a certain part of your body over another, which is absolutely fine. Principle number three to elevate your style is understanding color families. Sometimes it can be a bit boring if you just wear the same shade of the same colour in the same outfit. It's giving same, it's giving overkill. But if you understand colour families, you'll find a way of matching different shades of the same colour to make your outfit pop. Or finding colours that are part of the same colour family to make a statement and keep in with the vibe that you're going for. For example, if you're going for an autumnal vibe, you might go for browns, khakis, maroons, and burnt oranges. That's a really cool way of making use of colors that are within the same color family and that all go together without necessarily overkilling the use of one color. My fourth and final fashion tip for today is all about understanding silhouettes. If you've got a peplum top that sticks out at the waist, Go for a pencil skirt that cinches you in. If you've got a wide leg trouser, go for a more slim fitting top. Understanding the shape that you're trying to create is a really key way of setting off any outfit. Now here are some honourable mentions in terms of principles. Number one, make sure you're pursuing style and not fashion. The difference is style is timeless and it has your personal imprint on it. Fashion is just what's popular and it's cyclical, which means one minute one thing will be in fashion and then people will decide that it's not in fashion anymore. If you pursue fashion, you run the risk of just buying things that don't necessarily suit you just to fit in. Whereas if you pursue style, you build up a classic wardrobe of pieces that you truly love that look good on you. So that regardless of what's going on in the world of fashion and what's in vogue, you look good. Another tip that's super important to looking good all the time is understanding your skin. Now, what I mean by this is understanding your undertones. If you know what undertones you have, whether they're warm, whether they're cool, whether they're neutral, that helps you figure out which colours look best on you. And from there, you can start to build a wardrobe that features a colour palette that complements your skin. Now, your skin tone is likely to be different in the summer versus the winter. But if you do the vein test, you'll be able to see what your current undertone is and you can dress and build a wardrobe for what your skin is doing right now. This links quite closely to understanding your body type, knowing your shape. Are you an hourglass? Are you an apple? Are you a pear? Understanding your body is really essential to looking good all the time, because once you understand your shape, you can dress for your shape. And that means that you can pick out items that accentuate your best bits. Another thing to consider about looking good all the time is be prepared to have thick skin. 
People will often make you feel like you're being extra or doing too much by setting that standard for yourself. Remember, it's for you to decide how you show up in the world. And if you decide that it's earrings every day, then earrings it is. If you decide that there are certain things you won't wear outside the house, good on you. Never let anyone make you feel like you're being shallow or superficial by deciding that you want to show up a certain way. This is your choice, led by you, so embrace it. If you live in a cold country like the UK, make sure you invest in some really cute accessories for winter too. Huge furry hats, beautiful patterned scarves, wellies for wet weather that match your overall aesthetic so that you're not suffering in the name of style. Also consider getting your nails done or painting them yourself on a regular basis. Walk with a perfume or scented hand cream so that you can apply throughout the day and carry a lint roller and baby wipes so that you can make sure you look crisp all throughout the day. And remember, to make sure you look good all the time, you need to let go of the ideas of how you should look, what other people doing and what's in vogue. Start with yourself, start by thinking about what makes you feel good and wear that. One last thing I want you to remember is that everybody's style is different. On this channel, I will be sharing tips regardless of your style that can help you elevate. So don't worry about losing your identity. This is more about honing in on your identity. I hope you found this video helpful and I can't wait to share more fashion tips to help you upgrade your wardrobe. In the meantime, put some of these tips to use and see the difference in how you look and feel. Take care. Mwah.